My name is Andrea, and I fix your English. Today we're going to be learning about the schwa. Now, the schwa is a sound that will help you sound more natural and will help you cultivate that British accent that you would like. The reason why we need to master the schwa is because it's such a common sound and it appears in so many different words. This is the symbol that represents the schwa sound. It is a short, relaxed sound that occurs in unstressed syllables. It's kind of like an ah uh sound. It doesn't have any stress in it whatsoever. It's the most relaxed sound that your mouth can make. Imagine that your jaw and your mouth are doing absolutely nothing. That is the schwa sound. So, ah. Uh. Some people joke and say that they would like to be the schwa sound. Why? Because it's never stressed. I hope that helps you to remember. So one more time. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Let's explore this sound in different words. I want you to focus on the last syllable of these words. We have better. Do you hear? Ah, better. I don't say better. That is a stressed sound and that happens in many different accents, but that is not very common in the British accent. Acta. Again, acta. Ah, uh, acta. Center. Center. Ah. Uh. So did you see that no matter what the spelling was, the sound is the same. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. We relax our mouth. We open our lips slightly, we part them, and we just push a bit of sound out. So, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So the schwa is quick and unstressed. Let's look at some other words. We have ER endings. For example, better, teacher. One more time. Better, teacher. We have OR endings. Doctor, visitor. Doctor, visitor. We have AR endings. Calendar, vicar. And we also have URE endings. Nature, culture. So no matter the ending, these words sound the same. They have the schwa sound. Now, as we know, English sometimes doesn't make sense, especially writing and pronunciation. Just because something has an AR ending, it does not necessarily mean that it is the schwa sound. Let's look at the word guitar. Guitar is not guitar. <laughs> it's guitar, <laughs> which is a slightly different sound. All I can give you here is a rule of thumb, but if in doubt, please check the dictionary and check for this special symbol. So we know that the schwa can be at the end of a word, but did you know that the schwa can also be at the beginning of the word? For example, we have America. Do you hear? America. America. We also have police. Police. Ah, uh, police. This schwa sound sticks the syllables together in a very natural way. Okay, another thing to note is that the comparative adjectives use the schwa sound. So we have lighter, softer, bigger. There are also patterns. For example, if we have a CT in acta, we use the schwa. If we have a double R or a double S, we also use the schwa. That would be horror or successor. We have the uh sound. Okay, let's practice. I'm going to give you some sentences and I want you to pronounce them with me. Listen out for that schwa sound. My mother is a doctor. My mother is a doctor. The teacher gave me an answer. The teacher gave me an answer. Can you bring the butter to the table? Can you bring the butter to the table? Let's do a quick quiz. Can you hear the schwa sound? Number one, calendar. Calendar. Which syllable is the schwa sound? Nature. Nature. Where is the schwa sound? Police. Police. Where is the schwa sound? Actor. Actor. Where is it? I'm glad you were able to learn English with me today and sound a little bit more British. So, as normal, please check out my other videos to learn more ways to fix your English 
And if you would like to have private lessons with me, please contact me. I'll see you again. Bye.